What's going on guys? Uh, I didn't make a video last week because I only got back Thursday and all we did was spray on the spider and y'all already seen that so yes last night last night we got a inch and three quarter rain still beautiful outside got some clouds like I said, we got an inch and a quarter of rain. Beautiful rain. Very timing. Perfectly timing. Everything's going to be green after this. For some reason, every time it rains, people want bales. Right away, got a call this morning. Hey, can you deliver 10 bales or 20 bales? So that's what we're doing. As you can see, the bales are still very green right here. That's one that's been covered that rain couldn't get to. And this is the outside of one that could get rain to. have a little bit of cotton in there even a little warm but after such a big rain there's like you get a little bit of water in between the bales and uh, some customers get pretty picky about stuff like that like the other day I had, had a lady here he want, she wanted some bales and uh, she didn't want this bale because half of it was uncovered this half was green just like that one is but this half hadn't been covered with a different bale, so this half is a little browner. And she didn't want that bale just because of that. So, I just put it aside, but somebody else will take it. I mean, it's not a big deal. Just every now and then, there's some people that are picky. Like, as you can see, like, as soon as he takes that, this, is, see, like, this side is completely green. There, it's perfectly green. So yeah, I'm gonna... A little bit of cotton stocks in this one. But think about it. Look how big this bale is. They weigh about a thousand pounds. And, uh... I mean, that's all you have, pretty much. couple of cotton stocks. The rest looks clean. Loaded uh, five beardless wheat bales and now we're loading five, I mean we loaded ten beardless wheat and now we're loading ten oats. Um, he wanted half and half. Oats are beautiful, nice and green. I don't know why he set those two aside. Man, we got a bunch of graspers out here. I don't know if y'all have any of these, but they are pokey. You don't want to step on those. We get we have a lot of those out here in Texas and West Texas anyway. They're more in the drier areas. Uh, we live in the desert area. This year it hasn't been a desert, as you can see. Um, most of the, most of the, everything is green this year. We didn't do anything on this farm. This is where we had our uh, oats on, and uh, we just left it alone. Let it get covered by weeds. We got our cows back there. You can see our cows are back there. So yeah. Yeah, you can see a bunch of graspers right here. All these are graspers. When it's wet, they usually don't stick too much. You can see you got some of my pant legs. You can see how they just 
poke right on in your skin. It's weird how such a, a little thing can just poke right into your skin. So yeah, I'm gonna deliver these bills with my brother. Um, make a little extra cash. We usually split the hauling fee. Probably make about 150 bucks a piece and good weekend spending money. He's almost done. He's got four bales left to load. And then we will go to Odessa and deliver them. So just started up the half miler. Gonna check the cow's water. Uh, we got an auto flood on here. But this is the only well from all of them that was out. Oh, it's not out? We thought it was out. That dinosaur growling you're hearing in the background is our very mean bull.
I need more gaunts. It's not completely waist high yet. That's pretty close. But... Maybe I'll run at three, two and two and three. Are there any cotton balls on there? Oh yeah, you got lots of balls. But you see what I mean? Like the fruit set isn't very full. Oh, but your the ass kick here. That that that. The, 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 like you got four of them right here. How is it still wet? I guess some do? Yep. No, this is very good fruit set on. Yeah, what you want to look at is whenever you can put uh, three fingers in between. Let me get in there. As soon as you can put three fingers in between each stem on the main stem on each branch, then you want to start uh, pixing it. Which, I mean, there's almost yeah about so perfect timing to it's perfect timing to run picks on it a plant plant growth regulator so starting to look very good got some grass on this half too next year I'm gonna come through here with uh, some dual and kill all the grass. This is my first year farming this circle here, so I didn't really have an idea on how much grass and stuff there was, so I'm going to come in here next year and clean up all the grass. Just got done spraying my, uh, my brother's field. So we fixed uh, 120 acres today. And what picks does is it just it slows the plant down from growing higher. It, it slows it down from growing taller, and it just fills it out more. Um, it, it makes a, it makes quite a bit more fruit. If it's, if it's a smaller plant, it gets to put more fruit on. It can, it can provide more water for more fruit, so it can hold more fruit. So just got that done. Now I'm gonna go count some bales. A uh, lady wants some peanut hay. They're so old that they just want to rip the shreds every time you load them. So I'm going to go count how many we have left. And then I'm going to help my brother. We're going to pull one of his pumps and we're going to start fast bailing it. So, we're going to do that yet today and then I think we'll call it a day. clear a, a two, this is a 2014 ram 1500 that i have look how clear that screen is too bad y'all can't listen to what i'm listening to i was gonna i was listening to on my phone but since i recorded i can't 
but uh, you should listen to some JB and Moonshine band. They got some good music out there. Um, what I'm doing with this tank is I'm filling up water um, for my brother. He's spraying his fields for weeds. Um, and I was going to fill up the tank with water and bring it to him so he doesn't have to come to the well to fill up every time because it's way out of the way. And there was a little bit of fertilizer left in the tank from uh, last time when we fertilized. So I'm just, I just filled up about 200 gallons of water and I'm just going to open it up on my dad's lawn and just let it pour out fertilize it, use it as fertilizer a little bit. If I had more time, I would uh, empty it out on my horse's grass here. Um, we're supposed to be getting some more rain this next week. Today's Friday. My horse is over there. She's just chilling over there. Um, see if you can see her. There, she's just chilling over there. I'll probably make one pass here by the trees. That's what I'll do. I'll make one pass here by the trees, by the palm trees, and then I'll put I'll do the rest on the lawn over there. It's gonna drive right here. She's a very beautiful horse. If I whistle, she comes to me right away. She's very gentle. I can get on her, just sit on her. She won't, she won't even care. See, now she's ready here. She's like, hey, come pet me. <laughs> Yeah, so I put one pass here by the trees. This is how you do it. This faucet right here opens it up. Starts pouring out. Get in your truck. following me see if I can get her to run Horse is still following me. He's like, hey, I want you to pet me. Like that's grapes right there.
But yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this for until the tank is empty. Drive around on the grass here and give it some fertilizer and, and then I'll fill up the tank and bring it to my brother. Did I scare you?